What is going on, my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Money Millennial. In this video, we are going to answer three big questions regarding the extra benefits to the federal food stamp program that were enacted as part of the COVID-19 pandemic. By now, you've probably heard that these extra SNAP benefits are set to end soon in dozens of US states. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons, and let's get into this breaking news update regarding the latest SNAP benefits information. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. Now, the first major question that we will be answering is, what are SNAP emergency allotments and what exactly is going on with them? In other words, what's all the fuss about? Some 40 million Americans get help to buy groceries each month through the federal program known as SNAP. The pandemic era SNAP benefits, known as emergency allotments, have been funded by the federal government like regular SNAP benefits and given to low-income individuals and families to use at stores to buy food. Since the onset of the pandemic, many households have been receiving an additional $95 or more per month in addition to their normal SNAP benefits. But those extra benefits will soon end next month for people in 32 states. Next up, we will be answering how are SNAP benefits calculated and what changed during the pandemic? SNAP, which stands for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, calculates the benefit amount based on household size and the monthly net income minus 30%. The percentage is based on how much the government expects families receiving benefits to spend of their net income on food. Families with no net income receive the maximum SNAP benefit. For example, if a family of three had no income, it would receive the maximum benefit of $740 per month. If the same family had $600 in net monthly income, it would receive the maximum benefit of $740 minus 30% of its net income, 30% of $600 is $180, or $560 per month. But the U.S. Department of Agriculture began offering an increased monthly benefit in April 2020 in response to surging unemployment related to the pandemic. The extra COVID SNAP benefits are the difference between a family's normal benefit amount and the maximum amount for their household size, with a minimum amount of at least $95 extra a month. These extra payments have been put on EBT cards each month. The Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2023, passed by Congress and signed into law in December, ended the emergency allotments after February 2023, according to the USDA. Our last and final question that we will be answering is when and where are the extra COVID SNAP benefits ending? In 17 states, the emergency benefits have already ended, including Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota and South Dakota, Tennessee, and Wyoming. For those in South Carolina, which is ending emergency allotments after January 2023, SNAP benefits will return to normal amounts starting in February, according to the USDA. In the remaining 32 states, as well as DC, Guam, and the US Virgin Islands, the COVID era SNAP benefits will return to normal amounts starting in March 2023. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information that you might have about your own state SNAP benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link in the description. All right, guys, stay safe, stay hustling, stay warm, and I will talk to you all again soon.